that the whole part of life, no matter what season of life that you're in, that there's always room and space. It just takes the courage to go to for the next adventure. One of the biggest pieces that the older generations are giving is that you need to sacrifice today for tomorrow. And that couldn't be further than the truth. You do not need to have an either or. You don't have to sacrifice today for tomorrow. It's that how do you live in the present moment today and plan for the future at the same time? Because when you suffer so much in the present moment, you actually just recreate suffering patterns and you're operating with financial scarcity and it's not actually abundant. No different than you if you are living all for tomorrow and you're not really worried about anything in the present moment, well, then you're not actually living. The older generations, I would challenge the fact that they didn't live enough in the present moment because they were so afraid that all their ducks had to be in line for their future. And then what happens right before retirement, within five to 10 years of retirement, things are being pulled out from underneath you that you never thought because you were committed to that company, you were committed to doing it and you were doing it all and you were loyal, but it was at the sole cost of your own heart, your own soul. And that's not what's okay. It's time to actually go on that adventure, plan for tomorrow, but bring your heart and soul with you along the way. When it comes to the older generation, one of the things that I think they, they do the best is their work ethic. I talk to employers all the time, being an employer myself, and the biggest challenge today is young people who don't give a shit because they're not as committed, they're not part of the team, it's all about them. So one of the things that the older generation can teach you, which I believe they are gonna be the younger generation's biggest competitors in retirement, because people don't wanna stop working. They will work for 20 hours a week and they're still way better and more dependable to an employer than the younger generation. So I think it's super important for younger generations to start to learn that find a company that you align with, Find a company that actually you like the work, you like the people, and then treat them like you're your family. Yes, there's business structure, but it's not all about business. It's about people. And that's one of the things that the older generation does a heck of a lot better than the younger generations today. I think one of the biggest things that the older generations can actually learn from the younger generations is learning to be more nimble, learning to be more flexible, that it's okay to change even if you've been somewhere for 10 15, 20 years, that the whole part of life, no matter what season of life that you're in, that there's always room and space. It just takes the courage to go to for the next adventure, that your financial life and your responsibilities in life are not going to fall apart. Even if you jump off the ledge and change careers, change directions, adjust your cash flows. It's okay to move to that new city in a new house and a new thing. This is what the older generation needs to recharge and reinvigorate themselves and not be afraid that if you follow your heart, that it's all gonna be fine and everything will fall into alignment. Do you want to experience free coaching based on my 25 plus years as being a financial planner and ask me any question that you wanna ask me to help you get past that hurdle in your financial world? I run these free workshops every other month to start to open you up to start to help you get to this next place. The information for my free workshop, click the link below and register and I'll see you on the next workshop. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and like and subscribe to the channel. Why? Because then you can get more knowledge all the time and be a part of a community that's actually going to lift you up.